Deli here. Welcome back to a brand new speed build. Um, today, you may hear my puppy in the background, Bowser, panting. He's come to say hello just as I'm filming. And he says hello to all of you guys. Uh, but today we're doing a speed build and I thought it would be fun to do a speed build that makes use of the new roommates option or functionality in the game that we got with Discover University. You can now have roommates, which means that you will have a non-playable uh, character come into your game and they can move into, into a house with you. And I thought, you know what? Why wouldn't you just have two town hoses, town houses, <laughs> hoses? I mean, we could put two hoses in here, two townhouses, and um, yeah, just allocate your roommate to the other townhouse, and then your playable sim lives in the townhouse, and then, then you're good to go, you know? So that's what we're building today, and I just did like a classic deli build, you know? We're going with the modern aesthetic, what I love most. I really enjoyed doing this, and I thought for today's build, doing the exterior, we would furnish one of them as a speed build. And then in the next video, I'll do a real time build with you guys. So meaning I'll just show the decision making process as I go without speeding it up and talking over it again. Uh, just because I know that you guys like a mix of both and I just thought it would be nice. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think. Uh, and it's Christmas time. It is that time of year that people either love or hate. <laughs> so if you hate Christmas cheer and you're just the Grinch of Christmas and you can't stand it, I do apologize, but I have added a little bit of Christmas cheer to the channel. So even if you hate it, just be happy that it makes me happy. Okay. Um, because I do have a new like little intro with some mint green, minty, fresh green and red colors. And, um, yeah, we have a few fancy layovers. I feel like we're getting professional for this December on the channel. You know, we're becoming real YouTubing channel. Now we've hit a million subscribers, it's time. Uh, but don't worry, it'll still be as clumsy as ever like it usually is with plenty of mistakes in every video, just cause that's who I is. So yeah, uh, I thought with these townhouses, it would be kind of cool to do a little bit of a yin and a yang. Um, in Australia, like in terms of color themes. In Australia, we often have townhouses built where you can either, or apartments built, where you can select between darker color schemes or lighter color schemes. So um, some apartments will have darker floors and darker cupboards, whereas other ones will go with the lighter tones. And it's just kind of a mix throughout the whole complex. And they do that with townhouses as well here because most of the buildings are usually quite modern than newer ones. So I thought I'd recreate that in The Sims. So the right hand side is going to go with some darker woods and left hand side is going to go with some lighter woods. I personally always like the look of lighter woods. That's what I have in my apartment at the moment. And I just find it, I don't know, a little more refreshing for me when I have lighter colors around me. And then I like to add like forest greens and rust reds to really give it that extra depth. But other people, uh, some of you guys might prefer, you know, beautiful, deep, dark, cool woods and kitchens and, uh, you know, not necessarily the bright look and you might brighten it up with lighter furniture in other ways. So everyone's different. So, you know, let me know, would you choose the left-hand apartment or the right-hand apartment? And they're also mirrored, so the floor plans are going to be exactly the same, just obviously flipped. And uh, I'm just playing around here with, you know, do we have a balcony sticking out? I was also inspired by an image one of you guys sent me on Twitter to recreate. So it is inspired by that. It is quite different though. Uh, I'm just wheeling my chair back. Hello, I'm still here, if you can hear me. Uh, and wheeling back in, let me just see, cause I always feel bad if I don't credit uh, you guys properly. Cause that just sucks if your idea gets used and then the YouTuber is like, this person used my idea and they didn't even thank me, bitch. Uh, so let me just, let me just go back and see who, who chose it. By the way, have you seen Claire Siobhan's new puppy? So cute. I can't believe we ended up getting puppies at the same time. It's just nuts. Uh, okay, so Chrissy, Luna. Oh, Luna of time. Yes, thank you so much for the reference image. Uh, I'll see if I can put it back on the screen, actually. 
uh, so you guys can kind of see what it was inspired by, but there was a good uh, floor plan that she put with it. I did follow a little bit of the floor plan, uh, like the staircase is in a similar location, but really I kind of made up the rest of the upper level. And the roofing was really hot. I'm not sure if I'm actually that pleased with how the roofing came out. It's a little boxy for my liking, but in saying that a lot of modern homes are really boxy and I'm not a huge fan of that. So at least it's kind of recreating what's out in the real world. But you know, it, it's good. There's enclosed backyards. So you might want to get some pets and have a backyard for them. Uh, to allow them to run around a little bit. We're building in Brindleton Bay as well, in case you're wondering. So this is a world that came with cats and dogs. I didn't want to build in uh, the university world just because, you know, I guess I I've focused so much on university recently. I wanted to focus on other aspects of the game, I suppose, because we have our Let's Play. We've been doing a lot of like, we've done the creator sim of the Pleasant Sisters, using a lot of, using a lot of university items. And yeah, it's just, it's good to change it up a little bit on the channel. And I'm also thinking for December, like, I don't know how much of Bowser you guys are wanting, because I know, Okay, here's the thing. Before I got my dog Bowser or my puppy Bowser a few weeks ago, I never understood why people were so obsessed with their pets. Don't get me wrong, I always appreciated cute pictures of animals. I love animals, but I was always like, why are people always talking about their pets? And oh my goodness me, I've turned into that person who's obsessed. So if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, even watching these videos, you know I'm obsessed. And I'm sorry about that because I can't help it. I'm sure it will soften soon, but I'm a little bit wary that it's getting a little much. And if I start making videos with Bowser, I might turn into the crazy chow lady. So let me know in the comments down below if you do want to see a bit of Bowser, my puppy on the channel. I don't know, I was thinking of maybe doing like shopping for his Christmas presents or getting him to help me make wrapping paper or dog treats or something. Um, a few of you guys were asking that he picks my makeup and you know, cute little lifestyle videos that are fun to watch that aren't necessarily Sims. Let me know if you're interested in that because I do, I do love making different kinds of content when I feel inspired to do so. And I kind of have that inspiration to do so at the moment. And the other thing was Planet Zoo. A lot of you guys are asking for that on the channel. We, uh, we had a little rough patch with Planet Zoo, I'm not gonna lie. We had a, uh, we, you know, we weren't very good at it. Okay, fine, I wasn't very good at it. It wasn't your fault. I struggle at that game a little bit. Um, so I do have plans in place to have an epic Planet Zoo comeback very soon. And you're gonna like it because I'm working hard to become the best Planet Zoo YouTuber you've ever seen and you'll be like damn Dally, she knows how to play planet zoo She ain't just a simmer. She's a simulation channel. So get ready I I'm hyping everyone up <laughs> Also at uh, these university windows. I was kind of tempted to use them I kind of wish that I did but in the end I kept it really basic um, I did like those windows, but they're just so thick like the The borders on all of these windows are just huge and I guess borders on windows can be pretty big, but they just looked a little kind of plasticky. I don't know. I, I feel like maybe some wood grain or something would have helped or something different with the texture. I suppose it is the same texture as like these basic windows, but just because they're so thick, it looks a little strange to me anyway. Uh, oh, also a big thing that I am using here is some custom content windows. I don't use a whole heap of custom content in builds. It's like when I feel like it, I'll occasionally do it. I felt like using these infinity windows today. Um, let me see where they're from. Cause I got them quite a while ago and I love them. And they come in all three sizes of wall heights. Infinity windows Sims 4. Let's check it out. Uh, wakey. Yeah, I think this is them. Um, I'll link it in the description down below, but they're by Wakey, W-A-E-K-E-Y. So w -A -E -K -E -Y, and they're just so handy. And I really, I really wish we had windows like this in the game because they're just, 
they're just seamless. And it, it's really awesome that you can kind of make them any size you want. Like you can make them go the whole wall distance or you can, you know, make them smaller, single windows, whatever your heart feels like. Let the spirit of the infinity windows move your soul and give you happiness. That's what I'm all about in this life. So yeah, um, I have to say the whole monochrome color scheme, meaning black and white and gray color scheme of this house is a little severe and a little leaning on the boring side. I'll admit that, but I do think this is what a lot of homes are looking like at the moment. And I just wanted to create that realism. I kind of feel like the type of people who would live here would be like someone who's got a bit of money, you know, they've got some cash. They just want something brand new that's easy. They just want to move straight in, but they don't necessarily have a whole heap of taste or they do have good taste, but they're just not interested in, you know, making a home look really unique or have a lot of character. They just want it simple, nice, new, and that's what they've bought. So that's kind of what I was thinking. Or, you know, you could have some young Sims, uh, maybe it's their parents' house, their uh, elder's house. You could go with a storyline that they're just renting it out, leasing it. And for the showers, I was really excited because we do have the new university um, communal showers, which is finally a shower that isn't like a big shower block. It's just this little piece of the shower head, the shower handles and the plug. And I was so excited that we got that because it means you can make the look of showers, which I just did with um, the infinity windows or just the base game windows. You don't need the infinity ones. They're really easy to replace with base game if you want to. And yay, it just looks like real showers now. <laughs> I don't I don't like the shower blocks. I, I like the more modern looking showers. They just look a lot more realistic to me. So yeah, exciting times. Um, oh my gosh. Speaking of Bowser again, I'm sorry. I always talk about my puppy. I can't help it at the moment. Bowser had a little crisis last night. I woke up at 4 a.m. because to give you some con context, Bowser loves sleeping in my shower whilst we're on the conversation of showers. He loves sleeping in my shower. It's like a modern shower tiling and then it has a glass door and glass uh, shield, I guess. So you obviously open and close the door to get in and out of it. So Bowser loves the shower. He is a chow chow. Chow chows have a lot of fur and they used to like lie in um, Mongolian monasteries and lurk in the shadows of temples, like in the on concrete, like they love cool grounds, even if it is like concrete or wood or tiles. They've done that for generations. So he naturally loves tiles and lying on them. So he lies in the shower all the time. But at 4 a.m. last night, I woke up to the poor little man. He was like crying and I could hear this like banging sound. I was like, what is he doing in there? So I walked in and turned the light on. The poor little guy had managed to lock himself in the shower. He'd managed to shut the door on himself. He was behind the glass and he was trying to headbutt the glass down to get out. <laughs> it was so sad. And now he hasn't been in the shower since. I'm sure when it's like actually a really hot day or something, he's going to want to go in that shower because it's probably the coolest spot. Oh, poor little man. I was like, oh my gosh, it's okay. And he was fine. He was fine. He was just a little bit like, um, oh my goodness. <sighs> anyway, for this house, I thought we'd have a little bit of fun with the color palette, add some coral pinks in, you know, just brighten up, make it, make it look kind of fresh. I really wanted to use this custom content wallpaper, which is basically just the wallpaper from uh, the Caribbean update we had minus the wood paneling underneath. I feel like the Sims should have definitely just given us that anyway. But then I was like, oh, I've already used the windows. It's probably a little bit too much custom content for you guys if you want to download the house because it's like you really need to get the windows. But if I add a wallpaper as well, it's like another download you need to use the house. So instead, I decided to go with this wood. And honestly, I think this looks really, really nice. I love this rug from Discover University. The side table, I think, is from My First Pet Stuff. The chairs are from Solani, oh, Island Living. The couch is from, is the couch from the bowling day pack? There's a lot of mid-century modern items in that pack that are actually really handy. 
So yeah, this is kind of going to be like the modern, youthful looking uh, family home. So the area underneath the staircase, we're going to put some kids toys, a little craft area and an easel for an adult. So mommy and daughter or daddy and daughter, daddy and son, whatever, they can kind of work on being creative at the same time. So you could kind of put a, a painting sim in here with their kids who want to grow up to be like their parents. Um, so I'm also using a rug from my first pet stuff and a little table here, super cute. And I also love the, what do you call them? The bricks, the concrete, the wall, the feature wall um, that came from university, Discover University. I keep going to say like Sims 4 University, university living, get to university. Like I get them so confused, Discover University. I just wish the titles were a little more, you know, simple. <laughs> <laughs> but they've got all of these names. I'm like, oh my goodness, what is marketing doing for the Sims? They're like, you need to get creative names. Could it just be the Sims 4 University? Or life, university life, university living, something that we've done before, get to university. <sighs> anyway, I'm probably like the only person who has, who is frustrated by that. Isn't it funny? The little things that we get bothered about. Anyway, this is like a cute little nook area. It could be for really any skill building item, I think. Um, so it's quite, it's quite a good home in terms of you do have that little skill building area for whatever kind of sim you have, whether they're into arts, you could put a workout machine there, you could put some kind of science machine there probably, or make the bathroom smaller to fit it in. I think uh, that's a handy little nook to have in your home, even in real life as well. And I actually really love the size of the kitchen, which we'll get to in just a little bit. The kitchen is like the perfect compact size. I love it. It is so much like what you would see in real life. And we're using the counters from Island Living because I love those counters so much and they have updated them so that the new Island counters aren't janky. Because when they first released Island Living, wait, Island Living? Oh my gosh, I'm getting so confused with these titles. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it Sulani. When they first released Sulani, uh, the, the counters didn't have Island benches and every counter in the game always has an Island bench. They didn't have that, so then they added it in in a patch and everyone was like yay but then the add-in was really janky looking like the textures were stretched it didn't have that beautiful waterfall edge i don't think and then everyone was really upset because they're like why does this suck so much so then they went back and redid it again and now it's all good and i love these counters <laughs> i'm so glad that they fixed it um that that was a good call so yeah we have this beautiful little kitchen I remembered the bin. I think I've remembered everything. There's gonna be a sink there. There's a bin, there's a stove top. Oh no, did I forget the fridge? I totally forgot a fridge, didn't I? Damn it, I always forget something in the kitchen. Every single time. Oh well, in the other kitchen, I promise we will have a fridge. <laughs> if you move into this house, make sure you add a fridge in. When I upload it to the gallery, I'll try and remember to, um, to put the fridge in there as well. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do it right now because my game is actually open. And I thought this table fitted in really beautifully into this floor plan. It just is the perfect size for a dining table. I did forget the fridge. Ah, oh, I was so proud of myself for getting this kitchen so perfect. And I forgot the main thing. What kind of simmer am I, honestly? Okay, I've just fixed it in game. Um, and you know what? I've actually already started working on the other kitchen and I've remembered the fridge in there. So I don't know. I don't know what happened. But yeah, I think this house, even if you just wanted one family to move in, you could just chop the other house off and just have the single townhouse on its own. And I just think it's a really handy floor plan. It does have three bedrooms as well. So you have room to have a bigger family or roommates, housemates, rent out a room, do whatever you gotta do to be able to afford it. Pay off those school loans if you've still got them. And now that I think about it, there is actually a lot from Island Living in here. 
island living? Oh my gosh. I am so forgetful with the names now. Sims 4 island living, right? It's like city living, island living? Yeah, it is island living. Okay. Oh, I'm going mental. Discover the island. <laughs> Sims 4, discover islands. <laughs> Uh, also, I love having bikes in the game. I love that we can put that in the backyard. I'm also going to put up a wind chime uh, that is from the backyard stuff pack. We've got a few items from Seasons, like the floristry uh, unit over there. We're going to put a basketball hoop up from City Living. It's all happening. If, if you have all the packs, number one, you're very lucky. Because when I started on YouTube, before I was being sent review copies, I didn't have all the packs. I had to pick and select and work hard for which packs I wanted and select which ones I was going to use most. So I totally understand when you don't have all the packs. Most people don't have all the packs for sure. A lot of you guys watch and you don't even have The Sims, but you still like watching, which I think is awesome too if you just like watching it. So... What was my point here? My point is there are a lot of packs in this. So if you download it and you've only got base game, you're gonna need to furnish it a bit. Um, but generally speaking, a lot of the actual build is base game. You've really only got to replace some of those infinity windows with the base game windows and you're pretty much good to go. So it's not too bad. So if you do want to download it, my username on The Sims is Deligracy. And make sure when you're filtering, going through all, all of the lots, make sure you tick users custom content. Because if you don't tick that box, it's not gonna show it or show uh, items with custom content. Even when I don't use custom content, I will never show up. My items will never show up unless you select that. So make sure to select show custom content and you don't need to worry because if you download it, you're never going to be downloading custom content into your game. It'll just be missing in your game. So even if you download something with custom content, you're fine, you're safe. I know some of you guys get worried that, oh no, it's gonna download stuff into my computer, but it doesn't, the gallery doesn't allow that at this point. And then up here, I thought we'd just do like a nice little playroom area. You could turn this into a second lounge, gym area, office area, study area, whatever you like. I just thought because this was a little bit more of a family home vibe that we would have some toys around the place and um, yeah, make it look, make it look really nice and homely, you know? And you know what? I actually decided you know what item I never use? The puppet theater. So we're going to put the puppet theater into this room instead of the dollhouse. And we've got the little Ottomans out there so the family can sit and watch the puppet show. I just thought that was a nice change for once. And then over here, we're going to have two kids' rooms. One of them is going to have, I think a green theme. Do we continue with this green theme? Can't quite recall. One of them's like pinky and the other rooms a green or blue or maybe a yellow, I can't remember. Mmm, ah, coffee. I love coffee. I think I need to lessen my coffee intake. I wanna get down to only having like one shot of coffee a day. Cause at the moment I have a long black, which is like two shots of coffee and hot water. And then I'll have an espresso, which is another shot. And three shots of coffee seems a little excessive, I think. Not to mention if I'm not having the coffee at home, that's very expensive. So yeah, your girl's gonna have to turn down the coffee intake a little bit, I think. Pretty sure getting a puppy and being up during the night caused me to go on coffee overload. <laughs> and now I'm like, okay, it's time to settle down. It's time for the, for the settled lifestyle, you know? Time to sit down, have a puppy, pop out a baby. What? No, not for a while. I need to find a man to do that first. Why do I tell you guys all of my life problems? They're not even problems. They're just like common life thoughts. You know what I mean? Just all comes out online. And in a few years time, I'll watch this back and probably regret it. Or some scandal will come out. And I'll be like, yeah, she said this in a video. And I'll be like, why did I say that? Oh, well. 
Thanks for listening to me in any case. <laughs> oh my God, I'm a crazy person. Oh God. Anyway, oh, so yeah, this room was pastel colors. That's right. So blues, yellows, very, very gender neutral. But of course, like, why can't a little boy have a hot pink room? You know, do whatever you want. There's the two color schemes. And over here outside the main master bedroom, we have just a nice little outdoor seating area. So let's jump into some screenshots with our snowflake transition because it's Christmas time whilst recording this. So here's the house. It is um, a bit of a cold day um, to be screenshotting it. So it does look a little miserable, but you know, when there's blue sky, the sun's shining, the house looks very welcoming. And you can by all means change the exterior colors, but inside is looking very nice, very modern, beautiful high ceilings, utilizing lots of items from different packs. And I just love bringing them all together into the one, uh, into the one look and feel. So I'm, I'm really pleased with this. So definitely keep an eye out for the next part of, I guess this two part series where I'll be building in real time for the other household. I think the other one will maybe make it for, I mean, the other one, we could make it totally trashed, like students living in a really nice house, or I could make it more for elderly persons, or I could just make it like straight out of um, like a display home catalog, you know, like super simple. I might do that because then you've got the option of decorating it how you want to with the basic items there but yeah well i guess you'll wait out you'll wait and find out soon <laughs> also loving mint greens at the moment you've probably noticed i'm obsessed with mint greens <laughs> and yeah pretty much the bedrooms i think i might have put a bedside table in front of a wardrobe but i better fix that actually whilst i remember it uh because i think i did that in the master bedroom just remembered after seeing a screenshot that yeah that's definitely in front of the wardrobe okay shuffling that over whilst filming anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys are having a lovely morning afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world and gosh we jilly bobs your uncle i can't wait to speak to you soon and yeah merry christmas everyone let me know what videos you want to see in the comments down below love you Bye.